Hello and welcome to the fifth video lecture series of this Stateform template. So today, in today's session, I will be demonstrating about how we can create multiple block of resources into a single Stateform template, which is main.tf. In main.tf, we will be creating vnet, subnet, nic, and ec2. So this is the vnet. Inside the vnet, we will have some subnet. Okay, and from the subnet we will take one of the ip and we will attach to the nick and this nick we will attach to the ec2 okay so this this is the vnet inside this vnet we will have few subnet inside the subnet we will take one of the ip we will attach the ip to the nick and this nick we will attach to the ec2 instance correct so we have multiple block right so let's start from the vnet so just go to the net and let's take okay so here we have vpc code block you can directly pick right so you can see here uh, this is aws vpc and this is the logical name so in this we have you have to provide the cidr block what do you want to use just take it okay so that vpc code i have given here so you can see i have just main.tf and along with that you have to provide the provider block correct so what are the next thing we have to provide that is subnet so let's go to the hashicorp data from portal and you can see aws subnet is there just take this okay this is our subnet block just go to your code and here you can paste this so you can see here right so how this is written how we can make a connection like this subnet should belong to this vpc resource so how we can make this okay so for that what you have to do start from this okay this is the name of the resource correct so you have to write here aws vpc along with that this logical name okay along with that you have to provide the id so you can see here it is asking for the id so i will do id here so once this is done so this subnet is now getting created inside this vpc so how this is knowing using this vpc id so after that what we have to do we just need a network interface let's go back she will scroll down so here okay so this is our network interface just take the code go to your file paste it here okay so now you can see here how it is getting connected okay one second so once you got this block so let's see how we can attach this so this nick should be attached to the subnet as we have discussed so let's check aws update what is the logical name here that is main right and you can see here it is written something else so let's take this take out this and instead of that you have to take write this okay so this is done now you have to assign one of the ip from this subnet so this is our subnet okay so it is belonging to some other because one is not here let me once this is done just assign this some ip i am giving this dot one let me remove the things which we don't need okay this is done now our last task is we have to attach this nick interface to a ec2 instance correct so let me take scroll up and let's search for ec2 instance do we have so here we have ec2 just click on that So I have searched for EC2 instance type. Here I have searched for the AWS EC2 Terraform. Just click on that. So once we got this, you can see we have this resource AWS instance. So just copy this and let's go to our code and let's paste this. Okay, so you can see here, right? It is asking for AMI, so this value is already variableized, so we can pass this, no problem. And along with that, you can see how we will attach this to this network interface. So in this AWS instance section, let's go down, let's search for, do we have 
if you will scroll down network interface is block attached to this so each network interface block okay so here itself you can see how they are attaching to a network interface so this is the aws network interface and this is our aws instance so just let's take this okay so we do have already network interface just take this it only let's go back to our code and let's okay so here you can see ami is already passed and here you have to provide this network interface id so how you will just match this it will network interface dot test but here it is something else you just replace this okay and okay this is done now this is not required going forward we will see how we can make use of it but uh, for this case it is not required so this is done so now you can see whatever we have expected into the vnet subnet has been attached to vnet nic one of the ip of the subnet has been given to the nic and this nic has been attached to the ec2 instance correct so how you can see here this nic has been attached to the nic uh, sorry this nic has been attached to the ec2 instance and this nic has took one of the ip of this subnet and the subnet has been uh, attached to this vpc okay so once our code is ready just do our terraform initialize let it execute so once this is done let's go for terraform apply let's validate so this will give us the blueprint our code what we are going to deploy let's wait a second along with that you can see it is creating the tf state file here let's wait so here you can see the variable name reason has not been declared this block correct so you can go to the code line number three the issue is okay so theta form has given you a validation error that is this reason you have not yet defined so let's go back and let's create this let's take this itself let's go instead of right if, if you don't know how to variableize just go to my previous video it is sorry it is us is to us is to okay so once this is done let's again revalidate so now you can see you got this okay so i have done the apply my mistake so let's see it means that is validated and it is asking for your approval do you want to deploy this resource a multiple resource or not i have just said yes and so let's let it create since it will take some time so i will pause this video if any error will come i will come back so that we can remedy that error so you can see vpc it's creating now it is creating the subnet now it is creating the nick okay so you can see subnet reserved address range correct so the subnet range we are using that is already reserved for some other purpose so let's let me change this so so i have given now some other uh, cidr range you can see here this is the aws this is the subnet range cidr and this is the one of the ip i have took in this network interface and it is getting attached to the aws instance so let's go again and let's apply along with that i am auto approving hit enter and let's wait so you can see here forces replacement when I mean, whatever we have done the changes that is already stored in the tf state file so these all things should be changed that's why we are getting this forces replacement so you know right it is all things are already checking in the back end that what are the resources was previous existing have we done any changes or not that all has been taken care by terraform apply command itself so it is it will take some let me pause this video until this is done 
So you start creating now the EC2 instance. So now you can see resources are, has been added so but it is showing resource one added right so you know right while we execute the code as some ec2 instance ami this uh, ami error came so that we reused so if you know if you don't know how to get this ami so you just have to go back to your you have to go to the aws portal and you can see if you want any image to pick just see below beside the image you will get this ami id the same you have to paste here right okay so that was a issue while we have copied the code so okay once it is done so uh, everything has been now created so let's go to the port aws portal and let's see did we got our ec2 instance or not just click on ec2 instance okay so our ec2 instance is in running state so once you will come here let's see the net vm is okay let's see our networking so you can see here right the vpc just click on the vpc so this is the vpc we have created along with the IPv4 CID range 172.16.0.0 172.16.0.0 slash 16 so that is fine along with that everything we can see here right like this is our subnet subnet ID and this is the reason we have provided is to US2 that is the availability zone okay and this is the IP of our VM private IP address what we have provided in the code if you will go to the nick this is the nick we have attached to the ec2 instance 16 10 and 100 the same ip you will get here 16 10 and 100 so if this is done let's go back and destroy the code all the resources whatever we have created just click on open an integrated terminal and here data form destroy auto okay so this all thing we can variableize even right if you don't know how to variableize this all thing please watch my previous video along with that you can see i am using this provider block here i'm not directly providing the secret key and uh, the secret id okay so that also you can watch how we can uh, configure this aws credential even so please watch my previous video so that you will have understanding okay let's see you in the next video thanks for watching